Okay, peeps, how's it going? This is Epic Everything Dude 75 here. And on my hands on review, my full test and hands on review of this product, um, those of you who do know about it, I know one of my friends, uh, Lily Dane, he, she knows about it. It's, it's a she, not a he. <laughs> Fail. Um, anywho, um, yeah, this is gonna be the only. The first and probably the only hands-on review of this product. Lily Dane has the same product, but um, she never did a hands-on review of it. Um, so here we go. There's going to be a hands-on review of the Nichols Electronics. There we go. Nichols Electronics. Nichols Electronics. Oh. Uh or the Digital 2, pardon the bad focus on this camera, Minneapolis, Minnesota, I'm recording with my mom's camera, um, this thing is an 8 song digital chime unit, um, this thing runs off of 12 volts, it's designed to be put into a ice cream van, um, the Digital 2 is aimed so solely at ice cream vendors so that's why ice cream ven vendors and all that it plays eight songs and I will show you I will give you a demo of how this thing works um so it runs off of let's let's put it right here it is really this this small this is a regular CD case look at this this thing is Look at this. This is this. This this is the unit on top of a CD case. This thing is a bit thinner than a CD case and slimmer than a CD case. Like and this is it compared to my hand. This is my hand on top of it. This thing is like smaller than my hand. Like, look, look, look at this. It's smaller than, than my hand. Um, it plays eight songs. Um, now, because this is aimed at ice cream vendors, it runs off of 12 volts negative ground. So, what I have here is your standard... I'm trying to do this with all one hand. Um, it's your standard Panasonic... Model KX-A11C, this is a 120 volt um, input, is 120 volts AC, 60 hertz, the output is 12 volts DC at 500 mil mil amps, this thing is awesome, um, I'm going to show you what um, it has eight songs, it has a built-in fuse, and um, we're going to test out the built-in amp capability. We are going to test this on my Bose 201 Series 4 that you've seen in my Bose test video. Um, I'm going to put this right um, here. I'm going to set it on this record. Um... So here's how I have it connected. Red is your positive, black is your ground. You can ground it on the box, that's what the guy said. Um, here we go. It comes with a cable, such as this, that the output is your standard RCA plug. So this is your RCA plug thing. I'm just gonna put the camera down for a second as I untie this and plug it in so yeah here we go um, this does have a built-in amp the guy told me that the amp inside of the box is 4 watts it's a minimum 4 watt amp um,
there. So basically, all you do is so basically all you do is you plug this into the back, then you plug in your red. There's a red right here. You can see it. Pardon the bad focus. Oh, this is this camera, and then the black. Um, so comes with its, with its own volume control. Flip, flip it on. So, um, the guy at the company, his name is Dan, he said that you can, um, he said that you can amp up the speak, speak, speaker if you want. Like, let's say if you, you're using two speakers, these are designed for, not for home, home audio speakers, but they're designed for speakers like this speakers like this. They're designed for speakers like this. This is my 50 watt Radio Shack Pow Pow or Pow or Horn. They're designed more for speakers like this. This died so I can't use it. I'm gonna buy another Pow or Horn and connect it up and see how it sounds. Um, but let me, he said, as I wrap up this cord, he said that you can amp out, you can amp up from the box. So basically what that means is the output that I just connected my Bose speaker to on the box can be used as a audio output. So you can connect an external amp up to the box and it will bypass the not by bypass the amp, but you can um, amp out of the box. So I will show you how that works in just a second. Do I twist this up here? There. So I'll twist, twist it up. There, that's all it up. Okay, so I'm gonna move my bows back over here. Move the CD there. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, here's what I have set up. Here is my uh, PV XR8886. Basically. What I've done is this plug right here, I'm going to plug in the back like so. That's plugged in. Now I'm going to, to unplug my record player, put in that. 
Now, what he means by amp, amp out of the of the box or amp up out of the box is you you can use the speaker output on here. That's normally for connecting speakers. You can connect it to the, to the input of a much bigger amp. In this case, this amp is 600 watts. So I just took a 4 watt amp and amped that to 600 100, 100 watts. So that means is it'll sound louder. Turn down the EQ here. But now keep in mind, if you use an external amp, you may want to set the volume control of the, on the box to a level and then just use a volume control on the amp because having both up can be quite loud. So you might want to be careful with that. Um, and yeah, got this thing for 180 bucks. It is amazing, it is awesome. It's the best thing that I ever owned. Um, and yeah, go uh, buy, buy one. Okay, peeps, this, thanks for uh, watching. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, bye.